Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Miguel Mendez, Marketing Specialist here at Unravel Data. And before we get started, there are three housekeeping reminders that I would like to cover. The first is, throughout the webinar, please drop your questions into the question box and we'll, and we'll do our best to answer them live or respond via email if we're short on time. If you submit one of the top 10 questions during this event as ranked by one of our fantastic panelists, you'll earn some cool Unravel swag. Additionally, this webinar will be available instantly on demand to listen to at your leisure. So feel free to pause or replay as needed. And lastly, help us improve. Share your feedback on the session by rating this webinar and let us know if there are any other topics you'd like to hear about. All right, that covers it. So with the reminders out of the way, the floor is all yours. Thank you. Hi, my name is Clinton Ford. VP of Product Marketing at Unravel, and I'm joined today by Prajakta Kama, Product Innovation Leader at Unravel. Today, we're going to talk about data actionability and FinOps for modern cloud data platforms. We will discuss how you can accelerate time to value with AI that is purpose-built for your cloud data stack. We will show how you can achieve time to value through productivity and cost efficiency with Unravel's new purpose-built FinOps AI agent. So Mark Sear is the Director of Data Integration, AI, Machine Learning, and Analytics at Maersk, one of the world's largest logistics companies. Like many organizations, moving their data workloads to the cloud, the company soon found that its cloud data costs were very rapidly rising to unacceptable levels. Data analytics are core to the business, but the cost of its cloud data workloads was simply getting too unpredictable and expensive. Cloud data expenses had to be brought under control. Mark is not the only one facing this challenge. More than half of companies are struggling to deliver time to value. And why is that? Well, first, they don't have the staff. A shortage of talent means that companies are not giving the full value from their data because they don't have enough skilled resources to deliver. Their skilled engineers spend too much time doing toilsome work. Data engineering and data ops teams are bogged down in non-value added work that does not drive business results. IDC reported that broken data pipelines are the second biggest reason why AI projects fail. Their cloud data costs are out of control. Companies can't determine a reliable ROI that makes sense because they can't manage it or forecast outcomes. And they are unable to optimize data workloads. Organizations find it's difficult to get the most out of their cloud data platforms. They're unable to optimize data pipeline code to improve workload efficiency and get the lowest possible cost. So together, these are some of the biggest challenges that are holding organizations back from being able to maximize the positive impact of data for their business, fully achieve the innovation and efficiencies they need from their data. Without solving for these things, you run the risk of falling behind because data is what is driving success. And if you get behind, it's hard to catch up. So companies who buy Unravel often start with homegrown tools developed in-house and based on open source software, but these are difficult to use and require a skilled team. As they experience the need for more regular and consistent reporting, they frequently turn to built-in tooling and instrumentation from cloud service and cloud data platform providers. But these tools often lack the granularity needed for data platform showback and chargeback. Then as their cloud usage rapidly expands, they turn to third-party generalist tools, but these typically lack full data stack visibility. And as the data platform grows to support data and AI pipelines and applications, they tend to adopt purpose-built data observability tools to enable productivity, performance, and cost efficiency. So Gartner recently updated their market guide for data observability tools in which they highlight the key features of data observability. And one of those that's really important is to not only identify them to alert and investigate but, and recommend solutions, but also to resolve and prevent these in the future. The Gartner market guide for data observability tools emphasizes there's been confusion between data quality solutions and data observability tools. So when you're running a data app, monitoring the infrastructure is not enough. You have to approach it holistically. Data quality is just one component of data observability. 
So people mistakenly view data observability and data quality as interchangeable terms. And although they are related and overlap, they represent distinct concepts. Data quality focuses on the data itself within a business context, and it aims to remediate and fix data issues. Data observability encompasses the entire system and environment delivering that data. So it provides monitoring and insights, offering recommendations to address problems. There has also been confusion between data observability and general observability, traditionally used for application monitoring and infrastructure monitoring. So traditional infrastructure and APM tools are event-based tools that focus on specific areas for the data ecosystem with an assumption that the organization knows what it must monitor. As a result, generalist observability tools are insufficient in addressing issues new to the organization and also insufficient in providing real-time support to prevent critical data issues or system downtime. Data observability tools fill this gap by consolidating information from different areas of the data ecosystem and creating consistent and coherent alerts for data issues, regardless of their origins, to provide holistic end-to-end -end visibility of the data ecosystem. Embedded tools are integrated into specific applications or environments, so they are easier to implement but have limited coverage. As a result, embedded tools offer limited coverage, so they're not intended to provide an end-to-end -end visibility across all five different types of observations. And they're difficult, if not impossible, to use outside of the main uh, tool or environment that data observability tool is embedded in. Now, standalone data observability tools uh, require more effort to implement and optimize to harness their full potential, but standalone tools fill the gaps of embedded tools because they are able to connect to a wide range of data environments, enabling them to provide more comprehensive view of the data ecosystem, and they support multiple observation categories and use cases. So now that we've covered some of the key differences between the different tools, let's take a deeper look at the types of observations you need to consider. So first, data content, observing the data itself, data flow and pipeline, observing the data pipelines, the jobs, queries, and data applications, infrastructure and compute, observing the workload requirements and the optimal resources in the cloud needed to run those, user usage and utilization to observe who is running queries, the most frequent queries, and total execution time within a certain time period, and financial allocation, observing costs associated with each data environment and provide information to optimize costs, plan capacity, budget, and forecast. So data observability provide these five main observation areas at various levels. And in this event today, we're gonna to be focusing mostly on the financial allocation uh, row here. So for example, um, Novartis, a customer of, uh, of ours was using cloud native and data platform native tools to pinpoint cost issues, but they lacked visibility into the jobs that they were running to diagnose the spend issues. So how does Unravel help organizations go beyond observing to taking action? Well, we've worked closely with our customers so they can see the impact of resources, infrastructure, and we've added a fifth column to highlight examples of how customers take action with Unravel. So in this realm of financial allocation, using Unravel's AI agents, FinOps teams can automatically resize infrastructure, automatically eliminate inefficiencies. So they no longer have to pull in data engineers who have to toil manually over improving cost efficiency. Unravel's FinOps AI agent provides the ability to automatically stop rogue usage to achieve your target spend. So now with that context, let's discuss the key elements of a perfect solution. So first of all, deep knowledge across the entire data stack, since the AI is only as good as the data or metadata you feed to it. And that includes depth of the knowledge in the graph, in the knowledge graph based on having captured this for years, um, understanding how the stack should perform, and understanding use cases for FinOps data ops, and data engineering. 
Next, broad ability to gather the relevant details and telemetry across your use cases, having a consistent source of information across your cloud data platforms, and precise control over the level of automation. It should be easy to use in order to ensure adoption and effectiveness with an easy to use interface integrated into existing workflows to avoid interrupting your team's work to go into a separate tool. And it should be tailor-made for each persona and role. Now let's take a look at Unravel. So Unravel provides depth, breadth, and ease of use with Unravel's deep shared knowledge graph based on over 50 million jobs and queries to give your team the benefit of those insights. Breadth and control of the automation across clouds and data stacks. You choose the level of automation, have it done for you, with you, or by you. AI agents for data ops, fin ops, and data engineering designed to maximize your team's productivity. So Unravel's unique value is role-specific agents for fin ops, data ops, and data engineering, full control done for you, with you, or by you, and breadth of coverage for Snowflake, BigQuery, Databricks, and more. So now let's take a look at the Unravel FinOps AI agent. Unravel's AI FinOps agent helps you maximize savings while minimizing your effort. Optimize data platforms, queries, and tables automatically. Automatically surface ways to reduce cost. Create recommended alerts so teams can take immediate action. Insights and recommendations that teams can learn from. Unravel's FinOps AI agent helps you achieve predictable spend and precision budgeting so you can stop cost overruns in their tracks with spend guardrails. Self-service cost reporting and optimization insights frees up your time and makes it easier for everyone to participate. Create and track budgets at the granularity that you want and charge back and show back with business context, such as by project or business unit. Unravel's FinOps AI agent helps you make efficient use of your cloud data resources and eliminate waste. You can automatically discover underutilized cloud data resources, prioritize cloud data workloads based on expected savings, and automatically forecast capacity needs based on historical demand. Visualize cloud data resource capacity and schedules. All right, now let's take a look at the new Unravel FinOps AI agent, purpose-built for your cloud data platform. Let's see it in action for Databricks. Hi, you can level up your success with Unravel's new AI agents. Unravel's FinOps AI agent makes it easy to ask questions about costs, automatically improve efficiency, and proactively manage budgets. Data analytics is the fastest growing cloud expense. As Databricks adoption and usage rapidly grow, customers need ways to manage costs and improve efficiency. Unravel's FinOps AI agent for Databricks helps customers achieve optimal efficiency Get a better understanding of your spending and usage by asking questions in plain language right within your messaging app. Drill down into spending in specific Databricks workspaces to understand the most expensive jobs. Get actionable insights to optimize efficiency. For example, in Slack, you get a summary of Unravel's automatically generated insights. When you review insights, Unravel's FinOps AI agent shows a summary of the expected improvements to performance, productivity, and efficiency if you apply the recommended changes. In this example, you can see a 20% speedup, a 23x productivity boost, and $1,250 in cost savings. This helps you quantify the expected benefits of each proposed change. From here, 
you can ask the Unravel FinOps AI agent to automatically apply the change. Now that the change has been applied, we can see a summary of the ROI improvements that can be shared with the team. See how you can achieve efficiency on Databricks using Unravel's FinOps AI agent at unraveldata.com. Okay, now let's take a look at the new Unravel FinOps AI agent, purpose-built for Snowflake. Hi, you can level up your success with Unravel's new AI agents. Unravel's FinOps AI agent makes it easy to prioritize warehouses for cost savings, see current and projected resource needs, and apply warehouse sizing recommendations. Data analytics is the fastest growing cloud expense. As Snowflake adoption and usage rapidly grow, customers need ways to manage costs and improve efficiency. Unravel for Snowflake helps customers achieve optimal efficiency. For example, let's take a look at how Unravel's FinOps AI agent helps dynamically right-size warehouses. To help you get started, Unravel provides a list of the most expensive warehouses to help you prioritize where to focus your efforts. Next, compare your current and projected scaling needs for the warehouse to see how you can right-size capacity to meet demand. Review the recommended warehouse sizing schedule, then apply the changes with a single click. See how you can achieve efficiency on Snowflake using Unravel's FinOps AI agent at unraveldata.com. I hope you enjoyed that demo. So Maersk is one of the largest logistics companies in the world with their own airline and hundreds of warehouses globally. They saw a 70% cost efficiency improvement within six months of deploying Unravel's purpose-built AI. Now, their 3,000 plus data engineers use AI to validate all of their code before it goes into production. Unravel enables customers to cost efficiently deliver business results. For example, Merck said they could not have found 75% of the issues without a tool like Unravel. And they changed their point of view about Databricks with the help of Unravel. It's now my pleasure to introduce Prajakta Kalna, Product Innovation Leader at Unravel, for a deeper dive into the new Unravel FinOps agent. Prajakta, over to you. Thank you, Clinton. Hey, everyone. This is Prajakta Kalmeg here, and I'm uh, the Product Innovation Lead for the Databricks and AI Verticals at Unravel. And I'm really excited to showcase uh, the capabilities of our new FinOps AI agent with you today. So let's say one of our executives, Mark, receives the monthly uh, value email from Unravel to showcase what uh, return on investment that uh, was generated uh, by Unravel on some of the monthly spends. Now, in this email, Mark sees that there is about $90,000 worth of total cost that was spent. And out of those $90,000, about $46,000 is in untapped savings, which means that some of these uh, insights have not been applied by the team so far. And out of those 46,000, about $18,000 uh, are in uh, instantly realizable, which means that there's a potential to actually go ahead and auto fix all of these savings with the help of the Phenopsia agent. Now, Mark scrolls down and sees a uh, value that was actually generated in the past month where uh, some of the savings that were realized were due to a single ins uh, insight called as node resizing. Uh, so this insight basically helps uh, users reduce the cost base stage due to over-provisioning of nodes. Now, Mark could go ahead and actually review the autofix uh, recommendation uh, for these uh, realizing the untapped savings for node resizing and even initiate the whole autofix lifecycle. But Mark wants to go ahead and first review what is happening with the environment, right? So Mark clicks on review uh, on this particular screen. 
Now from the email, Mark is uh, redirected to the Unravel homepage where Mark sees that the cost rating for that uh, selected period is really low. It is 13, right? Uh, it is uncontrolled. So why is the cost rating uncontrolled despite having so much of uh, savings untapped in that selected period of time? So when we've been uh, talking to many of our customers, we realize that uh, some of the challenges that the customers face in uh, adopting the recommendations and insights is because the people who are um, looking at the insights are planning to apply them. They lag the detailed visibility into the sp cloud spend on how your monthly cloud spend basically breaks down into the per workspace, per user cost, and where is the potential of applying those insights. Even for some of the insights, they have to go ahead into the Databricks environments, into the uh, Snowflake environments, uh, go ahead and apply some of those recommendations and uh, which takes time. And sometimes it is the personal mismatch, right? So the person who is reviewing these insights uh, really wants to approve them, really wants to go ahead and make sure that they are applied immediately, but they may not have the appropriate fixed permissions that are required to change the cluster configurations. And many a times, uh, some of the users don't fully understand the cost impact of applying the insights. So if I apply this insight, how much am I going to save uh, in one day or in 10 days or the end of the month? And how does that reflect in my cloud bill? So given some of these challenges, uh, the result of this is some of the high cost cost centers within the business units of users can still remain unmanaged. There would be no budget set around it, there wouldn't be any cost tracking happening. Uh, there's no automated way of proactively managing these budgets, right? So how can we circumvent some of these problems and enable users to uh, improve efficiency? How can we automate tapping into these untapped savings that we saw earlier, right? Uh, and sometimes these savings in our, uh, are uh, almost up to like 50% and 60% of the overall cost spend. How can we untap, uh, tap into the untapped savings? So Unravel's FinOps AI agent uh, basically helps users ask questions on the cost spends, on the insights that are generated, on the impact that uh, applying a particular recommendation or a series of recommendations is going to have on their overall cloud spend. It helps you proactively manage the budgets by uh, creating an auto fix uh, when the budgets are at risk or they are about to cross the certain thresholds. Or it helps you in general improve the efficiency of your workloads, reduce the cost so that you can fit more workloads in the same cost. So some examples of how Unravel Assistant uh, can help answer FinOps question, right? So you can go ahead and ask questions like, show me the top 10 most expensive jobs, jobs uh, based on their total cost. You see the breakdown, you uh, dive deeper into the spends of each of those jobs, the users who have been executing those jobs. Uh, then you look at what insights are available on some of those jobs specifically, right? What are the steps that can help you remediate those insights, uh, those uh, problems uh, or symptoms that you have been observing? What is the cost of neglecting that particular insight? And then uh, let's say another use case here is if I have to save about X amount of dollars uh, as of today, then what are my options? Which all insights can I apply? What are the steps of applying those insights and so on? So this is more from a uh, ask questions about the cost and insights uh, to the Unravel Assistant. Now let's assume as a user, you want to more proactively go ahead and automate some of this, right? So the FinOps AI agent basically helps you take action on your behalf so that uh, the cumbersome process of going ahead and applying those insights and looking for the appropriate person who, uh, who can apply the insight on your behalf, uh, all that uh, uh, life cycle can be reduced so that the mean time to act on the particular insight uh, or set of insights drastically reduces. So you can look at your budgets, which are at risk and ask Unravel to go ahead and auto fix some of the 
insights that can help you uh, control the budget for your specific business unit or your specific cost center within that business unit. Now, uh, for the rest of the talk, I'm going to basically showcase some of the uh, autofix capabilities, right? So uh, on the home page, when you look at the summary, when you look at some of the uh, uh, untapped savings, you can go to the optimize section and look at the instantly realizable savings here. So what we see here is there are node right sizing and downsizing insights available that can uh, result in some immediate savings that uh, 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 about like $8,000 and they can be an, uh, about $200,000 over dollars of savings uh, when they're annualized. Now, uh, from the optimized page, you can come to the job insights page. Here, you can click on a specific insights for a particular job signature, see the impact, uh, agree on a solution that you want to apply, review that insight. So what we are seeing here is uh, you have an opportunity to review the auto fix recommendation that Unravel has suggested before actually going ahead and applying it. And uh, in fact, uh, you don't even have to create a ticket because the ticket is automatically created once you review the insight uh, auto fix. And uh, once you approve, now that uh, auto fix goes ahead and queues up to be applied immediately. And then you can uh, actually go and view the tickets uh, and track the life cycle from in progress for, uh, to it, the ticket getting resolved when the auto fix is complete. So this is an example of how Unravel can basically uh, remove the process of uh, uh, going ahead and creating a ticket and waiting for someone to uh, uh, apply it and then tracking the uh, progress and realize savings into the product. Uh, now, this is another example where uh, earlier we saw that uh, as, as a user, they can get some alerts in their email inbox about how many, uh, how much untapped savings there are still waiting to be realized and they can take an action for a specific bucket of insights from within the email. This is an example of a Slack uh, message that somebody is getting, uh, that this is the summary of insights that were generated by the Unravel FinOps AI agent today. So there are so many insights uh, that are still pending, right? Uh, that can result in uh, X amount of untapped savings. And this is uh, what we have already helped you realize uh, in the past uh, X number of days. And it also shows you about what kind of productivity boost you have got, right? So now let's say that we wanted to either go ahead and create ticket. You can create the tickets from this view, or you can review the insights that are responsible for those untapped savings. So once you scroll down, the breakdown of those insights is available and you see the impact as well for applying those insights. And once you scroll down further, uh, you see the categorization of some of them are infra insights, some of them are code insights or SQL insights and so on. So once you click on auto fix, the 621 insights that were generated go uh, are basically applied. Uh, and you see a result of applying those insights in the Slack message where uh, Unravel basically shows that the year-to-date savings are basically now $14,000 uh, after applying those recommendations. Now, what we have seen so far is a couple of examples of how uh, we can do um, automation for using the Unravel's FinOps AI agent by applying the recommendations from within the Job Insights page, or we can uh, do an auto fix in a bulk apply way from within the product or from within the other integrations options that Unravel provides like emails and uh, notifications in your Slack environment or your Teams environment and so on. Now let's look through another example of a single recommendation that is being automated by the Unravel agent. So as we saw earlier, uh, the user can come and see some of the cost spikes that are happening on a particular day and is very curious in understanding why are the cost spikes happening. So they go ahead and look for uh, opportunities for applying some recommendations on that specific day. So they go to the topics chart 
they look at some of the potential opportunities and they see there's a long running job uh, where 54% savings can be instantly applied. So uh, after reviewing this, the user goes to that particular job into the Databricks environment, uh, verifies the details, looks at what is happening, what was the compute type, what are the instance types on the job was actually executing, uh, comes back to the Unravel Assistant uh, notification that they saw earlier and then decide to basically approve the recommendation for that specific job. So this is basically gives a user a view of the before and after the recommendation, uh, what will happen. Uh, and the user can basically log into the Unravel UI here in this particular instance, and then go and see the recommendation uh, that was generated in the Unravel UI, come and verify the same details here for the new configuration that is being recommended, apply the recommendation where the Unravel FinOps AI agent goes ahead behind the scene, applies the recommendation and updates the user that the instance types for the uh, nodes have been changed on their behalf. The user can then click on the link of that job, come back to the view, and then verify and cross-check that the recommendation was indeed applied. So this is how um, Unravel FinOps AI agent basically takes a lot of uh, load of applying those insights manually and going through the whole process of um, taking the recommendations, getting the teams to work on it, wait for a period of time until they see those inside recommendations getting realized into dollar savings into the UI. And uh, by using this auto fixes and FinOps uh, AI agent in multiple ways, we open different opportunities for improving cost and performance efficiencies uh, on the Databricks environments. So that is all from uh, the product side and thank you so much for listening and attending today. Over to you, Clinton. Thank you so much, Prajakta. We hope you experience the benefits of Unravel's data actionability platform with a free health check. This assessment provides insights into the current state of your data operations and quantifies the potential improvements to boost performance, cost efficiency, and productivity. So visit unraveldata.com forward slash health dash check dash demo to get started. All right, looks like a few questions have come in during this event. So, Prajakta, I'm going to hand it back to you to answer a few of these questions. So, Unravel's FinOps uh, AI assistant actually understands uh, your natural language questions, makes it easy for your team members of uh, all skill levels to get value from it, uh, irrespective of uh, uh, whether they are uh, executives, platform owners, data engineers, data engineering leaders, and so on. So the FinOps AI agent replies with words and visuals to provide a clear understanding of the current situation and how to improve on things. So how can we use this for uh, fast and accurate cost allocation? So the FinOps AI agent provides an overall view of your cloud cost data estate spending and lets you drill down into specific details to understand how resources are being consumed. So where is the spend going? Who is running various workloads? What are the costs? How can efficiency be improved most quickly are some of the questions that you can answer. Unlike other AI assistants that answer general questions or that generate like uh, boilerplate code snippets, uh, static code and so on. Uh, Unravel's AI agents are trained on your specific data platform and have seen millions of queries and data pipelines. So they exactly know what looks good uh, and can be pinpointed uh, performance. Uh, they can pinpoint the cost efficiency and productivity issues in your code. The infrastructure, the uh, problems in your configurations, pipelines, tables, and partitions. So Unravel's AI agents integrate seamlessly with your existing messaging and notification platforms like Slack, Teams, email, and more as we saw earlier in the demo today, right? 
to make sure you have the latest information readily available and to help you and your teams take timely actions quickly for better efficiency. So to start for a guided approach, uh, I would say yes, uh, with Unravel's AI agents, you are in full control. You choose your preferred level of AI automation, uh, whether uh, you want it uh, for, uh, you want Unravel to do it for you or do it with you or uh, just perform uh, uh, whenever you want to perform by yourself, right? So irrespective of which option you choose, uh, Unravel helps you get to your goal faster. So to automate like the repetitive task, you can just ask the AI agent to perform the action step by step with you or take your own action based on the provided insights. Now, these options let you maintain the proper level of oversight for critical data-driven processes. Thank you so much, Prajakta. And we would like to thank all of our attendees. Thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate your attendance and look forward to serving you.